In today's video, we're going to talk more about Black Ops Cold War Year 2 DLC. Some new gameplay is coming out for some more Year 2 Zombies content. We'll talk about NFTs in Call of Duty. Do we want to see that? And also, if Black Ops 1 is an underrated Call of Duty, if you guys are new and would like to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. We're super close to 90k on the channel, and be sure to drop a like on the video as well. Now, first up here, I want to do something a bit different in the videos. I want to get your guys' opinions, put them up on screen. So, the first thing here for this video, leave your hot take down below on Black Ops Cold War. It could be any opinion that you have about this game that you think might be a bit controversial, a bit unpopular. Maybe people will agree with you. Maybe people will disagree with you. And the point of this is just to get some discussion going and to hear each other out and see what everyone thinks about this game. So leave those down below. I'll be sure to take a bunch of the top comments and put them up on screen at the beginning of my next video. Now, first up here, on Black Ops Cold War Year 2, I have to address some things and my take on what we should be seeing for the future of this game, extra content, Year 2, even Year 3, and potentially a Year 4 DLC season. As I've said before, I do believe there is some type of hierarchy here as for what type of content we are most likely to see from Treyarch in this Year 2 season. The first thing here is store bundles, which is operators, mastercraft bundles for new weapons etc even old weapons as well i don't think anyone could argue with that they make call of duty the most amount of money it's easy for them i'm pretty sure to develop and produce and just release whenever they want so that's the number one thing there no one could argue with that number two is multiplayer content so as we already saw the first year two update we got was a new mp map wmd and of course the mastercraft bundle the new dlc weapon of course in the game right now jungle is up next there's leaked gameplay of that map so we're at least getting two new mp maps for cold war year two and of course we've had numerous other leaks about more multiplayer maps being brought over to the game a bunch of the bo1 remakes that were in black ops 4 were leaked by alex to be brought over to black ops cold war of course as I've said, I want to make this clear, more MP maps have not been confirmed to be brought to Black Ops Cold War. We just have credible leaks that are telling us they're going to come soon. And of course, I do trust them to a certain extent, and it's very likely we will see those maps. But again, they have not been fully confirmed by Call of Duty themselves. Number three here is, of course, Zombies content. But to break that down even further, what's most likely to see in the Zombies realm is Onslaught. And we'll be talking about Onslaught in this video, but... First up, it's super simple. I mean, anytime a new Cold War Year 2 MP map releases, they can just drop that into Onslaught. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's relatively easy to put Onslaught, the different modes, have zombies spawn in on these MP maps. They're not making whole new maps like they're doing for the round-based content. They're kind of just adding the mode in, making these zombies spawn in a certain way, and that's that. So I feel like that's the easiest type of Year 2 zombies content we could see, and it still is a lot of fun. I mean, Onslaught is definitely an underrated mode. I will be honest, playing zombies on some of the Cold War MP maps doesn't feel completely right but on other maps it actually feels super super fun and it feels like an actual zombie setting especially if it's a nighttime mp map or the map itself just has a semi horror or like rundown vibe it just works really well there but next up here of course is outbreak we have of course had several leaks previously about different mp maps being brought over to outbreak most recently it was the crossroads map and similar to onslaught i'd assume here as well it's just easier for them to take an mp map and put in the outbreak features put in the pack punch system System, make the objectives work on the map maybe a bit more work than onslaught but definitely a lot less work than if they were to make a new round based zombies map and of course the last thing here the least likely thing we're going to see for cold war year 2 content are new zombies round based maps as i've said before it's something i want to see the most of course i think it's the best type of content we saw from cold war last year and we of course had a ton of leaks recently about zombies chronicles 2 maps potentially releasing but as i've said before the reality is it probably takes them the most amount of effort to actually make these maps so it's the least likely content to happen although i feel like we all are in agreement that if they do release this content they will get a ton of players brought into cold war they will probably make a ton of money as well if they have bundles alongside of these maps i think it would work out for them but it seems like right now that's just the least likely content to see and with those zombies chronicles 2 leaks of course it is possible that we could see these maps brought into cold war year 2 as i've said before but i have to say this again nothing is fully confirmed so zc2 is definitely possible but no one knows for sure if it'll release or not people that say that zc2 will not come out 100 you can't listen to them because they don't know for sure and people that say that zc2 will release 100 you can't listen to them because they don't know for sure as well i mean the reality is we just don't know what Treyarch might do what i've said before is that we have leaks for it we have evidence for it i think it would be good for them to drop it i think it would be successful 
I think it's possible, but again, nothing is guaranteed. It could release, it could not release. So hopefully we do get more official info on that very soon. And now for the Onslaught stuff here up on screen, we have some stuff here. We have some gameplay from Lego Unlocked. I'll show a quick clip. If you want to watch the whole video, he uploaded a video. I'll put the link down below. He's pretty much playing an unreleased year two map here. We have Onslaught Zombies on the Zoo multiplayer map in Black Ops Cold War. So not Zoo from Outbreak. This is the Zoo MP map. If you guys didn't know, there are still a ton of other MP maps in Black Ops Cold War that have not yet been brought over to Onslaught and could provide us with so much extra zombies content in this mode that would really be super fun to play. I mean, as you'll see in Lego's video, again, link is down below. Be sure to check it out. Subscribe to his channel, of course. Shout out to him. I mean, it's actually a lot of fun. It's actually pretty fun playing zombies on these different MP maps. Of course, we talked about recently, there were leaked images of Onslaught on WMD. It kind of sucks that they didn't drop the Onslaught version of that map when it first came out last month in MP. I don't know why they're waiting, but it would be cool to see that drop very soon. And I'm not gonna act like this is the best form of zombies content. Of course, we all know we would rather see them work on and release round-based maps, whether it's a remake, a remaster, a new round-based map, whatever it is, we want that first off, but you know, Onslaught content, as I said before, it seems like it's just easy for them to drop that type of stuff. And it actually still is a lot of fun to play and to pass some time and to go back into Cold War and just have a reason to play some more zombies content. So Zoo here looks like a pretty decent Onslaught map. In that video, he's playing Onslaught Containment. And of course you have the other Onslaught modes as well. They're a ton of fun, but for other future maps as well, I would definitely love to see Onslaught on, you know, firing range. If that gets added to Cold War, that was a leaked map. I feel like that'd be really fun as well. The Black Ops 4 version of launch, which takes place at night, that with Onslaught, that with zombies, I feel like that'd be so sick because that gives me a real zombies vibe. And that almost gives me like almost an Ascension vibe. Launch, the Black Ops 4 version, which is a nighttime version, unlike the Black Ops 1 version, that BO4 version is so sick. You'll see some gameplay up on screen in the background. That with Onslaught, fire as well. So, I mean, again, Onslaught, it's not the best thing ever, but it still is extra year two content. And again, it's more likely for them to release that than other zombies content. And I'll take it at this point. We're in a year two season. Vanguard is pretty dry right now, especially in terms of zombies content. So if we could get any type of extra zombies content, even if it's in the form of Onslaught, I'll take it. I'm down with it. Why not? So that's my opinion there on Onslaught. Now, do we want to see Onslaught in future CODs? I think why not? If it doesn't take them a lot of time to do, why not bring these MP maps over to Onslaught, be able to play zombies on more maps i don't want them to focus on it i mean if they had the decision if they sat down at their desk today and said okay do we work on extra round based maps or do we take that time to work on you know bringing the mp maps over to zombies in the form of all assault i would definitely pick round based maps but if it doesn't take a lot of time and it's just a little edit thing they could do and they have extra time to do it why not go for it because i still think it is a lot of fun so that's my opinion there having onslaught in the potential zombies free to play game would be sick you know onslaught returning in treyarch's cod 2024 would be cool as well so i don't know let me know your opinions on that mode down below but now to get into the very interesting info here I didn't talk about this in my recent videos. I wanted to make a separate video going through this year, but I feel like I'm just going to add it on to the end of this video, get your guys' opinions on it. And if it really is a bigger deal and we get more info, I'll make a separate video on it in the future because it's such a controversial and not confusing topic, but it's just very interesting. So first up here, this is from Ralph, very credible Modern Warfare 2 leaker. He pretty much says that Call of Duty are considering adding NFTs to their game. Now, this is super interesting. And it honestly depends on how exactly they plan to add NFTs. Now, first off, this is not confirmed. This might not even happen. We don't know for sure. We really need more info on this here, but let's just think about what if this did happen? How would Call of Duty do it? And how would it make sense for us? And what would be the best case scenario here? So first off, I'm not the biggest NFT guy. I don't own any NFTs. I'm not exactly opposed to it. Like I understand why it's a new hot thing, why it's interesting to some people. And on the other hand, I understand why people think it's the most stupidest thing ever being able to just own a little picture a little cartoon figure and for that to be worth a million dollars like i get why that's so stupid but in terms of call of duty here you know there are a lot of interesting points that people are making i'm pretty sure lego unlocked kind of referenced this as well and i kind of agree here so right now if you buy a bundle or anything in the store in call of duty you spend 20 dollars you have that bundle and now that bundle is worth nothing pretty much like you spent that $20 but after that you can't sell it back anywhere it doesn't have an implied value and that's pretty much it you bought it that's it you showed it off in the game it's cool to have 
but that's pretty much it so imagine if that bundle that you bought in the store was actually an nft so it would work the same you show it off you have an operator skin you have a blueprint for your weapon and different weapons and stuff like that but it's an nft and there are only a limited amount of that so let's say they have 10,000 bundles available for sale in the store or you know a thousand whatever and they cost twenty dollars and then after that you are able to sell them back to other people and trade bundles where maybe other people could give you money for that bundle i mean that's pretty much how an nft works now the only thing here the only bad thing about that would be if call of duty purposely made a bundle super rare so let's say they dropped only five exclusive like samantha max's bundles in the store and then you spend twenty dollars for those bundles the first five people spend twenty dollars and then people can bid up the price of those bundles and they could spend let's say the bid goes up to a five hundred dollars or, or let's say a thousand dollars or something the only way that would be bad is if call of duty takes a cut of that final thousand dollars let's say call of duty says okay we get a huge cut of the resale value of the nft that's where it's bad because then as i said call of duty could purposely make it so they release a very small amount of the bundles and they know for sure that the bundle is going to go up in value if it's a really cool bundle and they could potentially get a huge chunk of the resale profit for some crazy dude that spends like ten thousand dollars on a crazy bundle because he wants to be a collectible and he and he's just super rich and he has that money he could, he could afford that and then call of duty makes you know 15 20 30 percent off of that which is a lot more money than they would have ever made by just selling the bundles for 20 bucks a pop to normal people so again that's just a theory that would be bad but let's say call of duty made those bundles into nfts as long as they don't take a cut of the resale value or they take a cut of any other transactions after they first sold that bundle then it would be fine because then it's just up to us we could trade the bundles if people want different bundles they could get that after and i don't know i guess it could kind of work it could give your bundle what you're buying in the game more value i mean the bundle that you bought let's say you bought a bundle back in like black ops 3 or something or whatever other game that bundle that you bought could actually appreciate in value and it would actually make sense to maybe buy you know cosmetic items in call of duty it's not just going to be some type of just thing you'll never see again and you'll never use again it'll be something that appreciates in value becomes rare and it actually would have been a good investment and your parents might have been kind of proud that you bought a bundle in call of duty it sounds crazy but that could be a world where that makes sense now again as long as call of duty does not take a cut of the resale profit let's say you want to sell that bundle one day for a profit as long as call of duty does not take money from that then that would most likely be a good thing you'll benefit from it and that's that but you know most likely we know call of duty i i, I feel like they're gonna want to take money they're gonna want to take a chunk of that profit so my conclusion here is that nfts should not be added to call of duty unless it's heavily regulated unless for some crazy reason they do it in a good way as i kind of said before and maybe you guys don't agree with my good way there i mean maybe nfts should be completely out of call of duty you don't want to have all that in this this game let's just keep it fair let's allow everyone to be able to buy a bundle for twenty dollars and even though twenty dollars is a lot of money twenty bucks for a bundle is better potentially than like a thousand bucks for a bundle that might appreciate in value i mean it might be cool that it appreciates but then no one else will be able to afford a bundle or afford that specific bundle if they're not like super rich and can afford a thousand dollar bundle so it's such a weird topic I mean, again, I don't want NFTs in the game, but I feel like it's probably going to happen in the near future. That's just where the world is going. So I want to just think and adapt and try to figure out the best way we could deal with this here and the best way they could do it. So again, this is an ongoing topic. I'm still learning about NFTs as well. If you guys know more about NFTs, let me know down below. I don't want to just be a hater. I really want to try to figure out what is the best way to do this here. What are the actual applications of NFTs? Why they're good? Why they're bad? I just want to learn. So if you guys know more about this, let me know down below. If you guys have any good opinions and ideas as to how they could or maybe how they wouldn't work in COD, let me know down below as well. Now, the last thing here, we have a community post I posted last night about Black Ops 1 being criminally underrated. Now, a lot of people said, what are you talking about? Black Ops one is not underrated now that's actually kind of true maybe in my head i feel like it's underrated i know it's one of the top selling call of duties of all time and a lot of people always say that black ops one 
is one of their top CODs. But in my head, when I think about people talking about the top Call of Duties, it's always just Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 2. I mean, my favorite game is BO2, but I'm starting to think, you know what? Black Ops 1 was really one of the top CODs, and especially, it's probably the COD that really put Treyarch on the map as that new studio that's making fire games. I mean, this is the first game that really put Treyarch on the map as a great developer for multiplayer, for campaign, and for zombies. Like, all around, it was a great game. I mean, a lot of people love World at War. I know there are OGs that played a ton of World at War MP, that played, of course, World at War Zombies when it first came out, but it wasn't really until Black Ops 1 that really showed people that, wow, like, Treyarch can make a crazy third mode, some crazy zombies maps with insane easter eggs and wonder weapons the mp was great as well huge huge upgrades from what we saw back in you know world at war and other previous call of duties the campaign was iconic as well so i know people might not think well black ops 1 isn't really underrated and maybe that wasn't the best wording by me but i feel like it's not talked about enough as like a foundation game that really put treyarch on the map so that's just my opinion there let me know your opinions on that down below and again, I probably am the person that underrates it. Maybe it's just me, honestly. I'm perfectly fine admitting that. So I got to start, you know, showing more love to Black Ops 1, honestly. I love the game. It was the first game I ever played for zombies. The first zombies map I ever played was King of the Toten. But I got to show more love to it because I'm starting to realize I've been playing it more recently. And I'm starting to really realize, like, how important it is in the whole, like, ecosystem of Treyarch, Call of Duties, and Call of Duty in general. So, again, let me know your opinions on BL1 down below. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you are new, enjoy the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more vids like this. There are two videos up on screen that may interest you. So, be sure to check one of them out. Real do appreciate, guys. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always. And I will see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.